That's gonna be its own video. No, that's gonna be its own video. I want you guys to come over here. <laughs> They're like, damn. Wait. Oh, you know what? You know what? Here's the thing. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Damn. This is gonna get awkward, bro. See, what happens, guys? Here's what happens. I just make a scene out here. But now I know these guys are regulars. Now I feel bad because I'm gonna have to talk to the regular. But, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have a good day, guys. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna talk to them too. <laughs> that was pretty funny when the camera was off. Alvar, please erase that. That's gonna be its own video. Oh boy. How many people called you? Oh my god, bro. Give me a, give me a call. I got a gift for you. You like stone crab? Of course. Who doesn't? Give me a call. How many people called you? Oh man, a lot. Well, thank you, thank you very much. How, how, how are the stone crabs right now? Slow, but uh, they're good. They're good. Give, give your number again. I want to blow up your phone again. It's still good. It's fresh. What's your number again? I want to. Three zero five nine six seven. 9674343 and your name again? Abel. Abel guys. I want I want to see I want to see everybody's going to pretend they're me, bro. They're going to say, "Hey, I'm Alfred." When you come back, show us what you 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 pick up. I give you a show. Shouldn't be much today cuz the water still freezing. You got frozen again the water. Yeah. But I got a gift for you. Your gift is there. All right guys. Abel, all right guys. Stone crab man, baby. Crab, man. <laughs> That's funny. I knew I was gonna blow up his phone. I wanna do it again, guys. Listen, he's a local fisherman. He says, hey, listen, guys, only call me on the weekends. Only call me on the weekends. So, oh boy. Black Point Marina, man. That's the, the beauty of this, right? Right? So you communicate with, uh, with the people and uh, it's good, man. Like, look, um, for those of you guys that didn't see my Chum series video, where I went to an actual stop in a place where they make Chum with fresh salmon and fresh tuna, and I did a video of that gentleman's shop too. This guy is charging $10 for 25 pounds of Chum, dude. And then, you know, Alfred Montaner had to make a scene and I went and I used a thousand pounds. I did a video with a thousand pounds, the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life. I'll probably never ever do it again. If you didn't see the video, I would encourage you to see it. Um, we didn't go out on the best fishing day per se, because it was a, a full moon the night before, but I wanted, I wanted it to be a nice day. So but my, <laughs> I think my, uh, my nephew's still cleaning his boat. It was that bad. You got these guys coming out now. A lot of people, guys, it's early. It's early and there's a lot of people coming out of the ramp, man. Look at this. And it's, what time is it? It's not even nine in the morning. So that means that if this pace picks up by 10, 30, 11, the ramps might be closed. And, and why do I say closed? They don't physically, they just, you, there's no more parking. And when there's no more parking, that's it. You can't launch here. You would have to go to the other marinas. In the summer, it gets tough because a lot of people, you know, want to be out on the water and spring is about to get here. Little nautic star coming out. We need another marina down here in South Florida, guys. Well, guys, you know when I say, I mean, some of you guys will say stuff like, what is Barcero music? It's, it's when somebody plays a lot of music in the, at the boat ramp. 
And obviously those that watch my channel know that when there's loud music, I have to re-edit and it becomes a problem. So I don't film those people that are coming with, with music because I just don't want to work more. But this is the shot I want, guys. So some of you guys I saw in the comments were asking stuff like that. Where, where are they? We, we, need a, we, need a, we need an interview. We need an interview. Come here. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to flag them down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Venga acá. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. Wait, 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 wait. We got to do a post interview. Better, 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 better. Post interview. Hold on. Hold on. Bro, give me a minute. Give me a second. Come. Bro, put in rewind. There's a lot that happened there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go around, bro. Come here. No. Come here. Damn. They know. He knows. He knows. Hey, I'm going to catch you when you come back. Tomorrow. <laughs> he knows. Captain knows. It didn't look too good. Oh, that's so funny. Hey, guys, if you, like I said, if you didn't watch that video, you got to watch it. It's pretty funny. Kind of crazy. Welcome to the Chit Show. Oh man, let me tell you, it's kind of early and a lot of people are starting to come out to the boat ramp. Wait for it. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here, bro. Bloop, 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 bloop. See you, buddy. Good morning. Morning, man. What's going on? Just gonna go enjoy the weather, baby. Dude, it doesn't get any better than this. You gonna put that uh, that little boy on some fish or what, man? Yeah, man, you gotta get some swims and snappers. All right, listen, uh, catch an extra one and bring it back to me. See you tomorrow. Oh, you guys are coming out all day, huh? Overnight, hang out. Where are you guys gonna stay? Nice. All right, bro, hey, you guys have a safe day out on the water. Elliot, guys, Elliot is uh, a key down here and uh, primarily in Biscayne Bay, Elliot is what protects the bay from being rough from the open ocean. So if you look at it on Google Earth, you can just type in Elliot Key. Close by, we got Sands Key or Sands Cut. That's where the sandbar is over here. Uh, if you haven't seen those sandbar videos, you should see some of the sandbar videos that I've done. They're pretty wild. No, they're not pretty wild, they're wild. So you like uh, craziness. It's definitely a wild. Not right now because of the Rona, because they're they're closed off. I mean, they don't they're not closed off. They just you know every time you go over there, they'll stop you and ask you to move. And what people are, have been doing, they've been anchoring, you know, close by, which kind of sucks for the kids. You know, they can't really hang out on the sandbar. The parents have to be a little bit more cautious. You know. These guys are going to have a pretty epic day. <laughs> Been listening to some of their shenanigans here on the dock. Um, these guys were having an issue starting it, but it looks like their lanyard was was uh, disconnected. Guys, if you're at the boat ramp or anywhere, you know, if, if your lanyard isn't on, 
which is basically your kill switch. Oh, look at this. What is this? So if your lanyard is on, the motor is not going to start. If it's off, it's not going to start at all. So you got to make sure your lanyard is on. If not, the, the engine is going to crank, 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 and it's not going to crank over because it's designed to shut down whenever you're ejected. And, you know, that's the idea of, of a kill switch, right? A lanyard. So you get thrown off the boat, it automatically cuts that switch, which cuts the engine and saves your life. I, I did a really good safety video and I share some of my experiences with, with a little bit of my knowledge. You know, every day you learn something new when you're boating. I don't care how much you've been on the water, you learn something all the time from others and their experiences. But, um, but yeah, your liner is, is extremely important to have on all the time, especially if you're alone. Little sailfish. What's up, baby? Hey, there's a lot of sausage on that boat, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> what are you guys gonna barbecue? Yeah, we're out there some decision. <laughs> Welcome to the sausage party. We for here. Hey. What do we got over here, my friends? At the Chicho. Early morning Chicho. And we're we're watching the Chicho as it's happening, my friends. You're watching, I'm watching, we're all watching. Oh boy. We we No no, we're we good, we're good. Got these guys coming out right now. Offshore power boats. What is going on here? Oh, 
Oh boy, the steering is backwards. Oh boy, that is. It's gonna be a hard, a hard, hard day to navigate the boat, guys. The steering is on backwards, so think about it. You have to deprogram your brain. You have to deprogram your brain to figure out how to drive. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.